myself, I don't know, because I'm not going to speak to any detail of that concept. <laughs> Yesterday, the Feast of the Epiphany, I found myself uh, recalling uh, during my homily one of the, uh, well, uh, how, how, at least here in uh, the ACC, uh, on our floor, at least I should say, it did not happen this year because it fell on a Saturday. But last year, I remember, we, we had Rosca de Reyes on January 6th. Um, and King K, some, some people know it by that name. He's a pastry, round shape, and embedded in it or baked in it. Uh, uh, Originally is one image of the baby Jesus. Ours on the fifth floor had four. <laughs> because it, 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 it kind of lightens the burden on those who have to put out the party on February 2nd. Tamales and all that. Mole, I understand, is the other item. Okay. Uh, but I was recalling how two years ago on our floor, as we took our turns to take our piece from the Rosca, uh, there was some kind of hesitation, you know, because everybody was afraid that they're going to get the child Jesus. And then I stopped. Afraid to get the child Jesus. What's wrong with that statement? Right? Why are you afraid? Because of the responsibility that comes afterwards, right? The tamales, right? Spring for those. And, and in a sense, you know, uh, sometimes that's how we approach our faith. Uh, we, we enjoy the faith for what it can give us. Uh, strength, hope, uh, optimism maybe, confidence, certainly the graces of the sacrament. But then the faith makes a demand on us as well. And that's where every so often we might be kind of hesitant, shy, or maybe even afraid to, to kind of respond to what it calls us. Well, the Christmas season is, is, is coming to a close. We, we close it today, and ordinary time comes upon us. And uh, in his own life, you know, uh, Jesus is the model of what it means to live ordinary time. He began with his baptism, and from here on, we will recall again what, what he said, and what he did, and how he lived his life for the sake of others. Uh, we say that he was born among us to share our life so that we can share his life, his divine life. We have a share in that life through our own baptism. And that baptism demands something of us. Oh, yes, it has its benefits, certainly. But it demands something of us. Like Christ, it calls us to give witness that we are indeed children of God. That like God, uh, we, uh, we stand for the lowly. We champion those who have no one to, to speak for them. Uh, we are for truth and, and justice. Those are not always difficult values to live by in the world. And yet, uh, this is what we are about. Because this is what Jesus was about. So as much joy as, as we celebrated in knowing uh, that God came to dwell among us through the birth of his son, uh, let us also embrace uh, the fact that we dwell with him by our baptism, a baptism that he shared with us uh, through his baptism in the Jordan. Uh, so as we begin, or already in the new year, let us make a, a renewed commitment to live our Christian lives in the manner of Christ so that what we celebrated in the last few weeks may continue to be real, alive in the world where we live.